hi friends this is vijita welcome to my channel once again uh, today in this video i'll show you how to uh, schedule a job how to schedule a program in the background and how to check the job which has got generated against the program schedule so uh, let me start and uh, let me uh, tell you that uh, it is a very uh, basic uh, basic thing in sap and it is a very important question being asked by any interviewer uh, and it is to judge whether you have uh, uh, executed any uh, programs in your uh, real time or not i mean uh, it is a important question to judge whether you have real time experience or not so uh, it is going to be a very important lesson so i would request all of you to watch the video till the end so first of all i am going to abl1n this is for the vendor line item now uh, when i'll schedule a job uh, when i'll schedule a program in the background say a business has lot of data periodically and they need to fetch the report periodically so at the end of the period as there are many data it may happen that while executing the uh, programs uh, system may uh, system may give you a above dump that happens generally so what do they uh, what do business do is they generally execute the program in the background and after the execution of the program they fetch the report and they publish the report wherever wherever it is required so what i am doing is i am running the program i am running this uh, transaction basically abl1 and abl1 and is nothing but a vendor line item display so i am taking all the items and i am taking first of uh, i am giving the date range from first of january 2019 till today's date so uh, it may happen that uh, there are many data sometimes uh, business need to publish their accounts payable data or accounts receivable data at the end of the year or at the end of the quarter so there can be millions of data so if we run them we just execute them in the foreground it may take hell lot of time and it may happen that uh, system uh, si system could not able to execute the same and uh, they give the above dump so in order to avoid all this uh, we what we need to do is we have to execute the transactions in the background so uh, how do you execute the uh, transaction in the background is uh, i am uh, in abl1 and i have given all my relevant data all my parameters that is company code uh, all item i have selected all item and i have given the date range now i'll go to the button no not this one i'll go to the program and see there is a option of execution in execute in background i'll just click on the same it is asking for my output device output device is nothing but your printer so the printer that business is using in their office they will give the pin printer name or sap has given their own uh, um, option that is lp01 it is nothing but a dummy printer so i am checking i am taking the same and i'll just click on the continue button now uh, i'll click on the immediate button you can obviously schedule it as per your own date if, if you think that it may happens that uh, another bad jobs business do have another bad job in the background so we need to fetch the report after the execution of the background and we know that bad job is being executed at the uh, every day at 12 in the night so i'll surely execute um, and if i need to fetch the report after that then i'll uh, execute this report in the background with the date and time specified okay but in our case uh, there is no such scenarios like this so we will execute the same on immediate basis so i am taking the immediate button now uh, i'll be clicking on the save button thus the job execution is scheduled in the background it is being shown in the taskbar below and the program name itself has come up that is rfite map so uh, program has been scheduled now uh, how to check the uh, how to check whether the program has got successfully completed or not uh, now i'll go to sm37 slash nsm37 uh, this is uh, in job name uh, i am putting nothing i'm i have just uh, given my user here uh, 
uh, today's date is this and I will just straight away execute the same. See, it is simple job selection. So, it is to display whether the job execution is successful or not. Now, mine would be the last one as I myself has executed the same job few hours before. So, uh, the other one is the one which I have executed before, but the last one is my current one. So, uh, see the duration has taken is 10 seconds. Uh, so, system has faced all the data within 10 seconds of time. Now, how to check, uh, how to get the report? I have selected my uh, job, job and I will just click on this pull button. This pool has got open. Now, I will tick on the above list, thus the list will be displayed. See, the FBL, this has this has come up in the format of FBL 1N. So, absolutely correct. I mean, that is the report I wanted to fetch. So, uh, system has fetched the report. Uh, I mean, if we uh, execute the same in the foreground, this kind of reports only comes up. So, I have just, I have just changed the execution procedure. I did not uh, um, executed the same in the foreground. However, I have executed the same in the background and the same report has come up. So, uh, that is the only thing I wanted to do and uh, this is the common practice that uh, any business uh, has, uh, any business use these features across the globe. So, it is a very important feature. So, I hope this much is clear to you. If it is not, then please uh, put your uh, comments in the comment section and uh, um, I will surely uh, try to answer all of your queries and uh, if you have liked the video then please uh, like and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care.